Good evening. Welcome to Metro Focus. Thanks for joining us. I'm Jack Ford. When it comes to keeping track of technology in New York City schools, the Department of Education is not receiving high marks from Comptroller Scott Stringer. The city's chief financial officer found that the department was missing over 1,800 computers, laptops, and tablets during a recent audit of eight schools and one office. The investigation, which followed up on a similar audit done in 2014, was just released and has since been criticized by school officials. A Department of Education spokesman told DNA Info that, quote, this audit's findings are fundamentally flawed and unreliable, and we're committed to improving our inventory system for technology, end quote. For more on all of this, including what it actually means for students here in the city, we're delighted to be joined again by Comptroller Scott Stringer. It's always nice to have you here. Great to be on the show. So uh, let's, let's take a look at this, and, and let us ask you to start off by describing exactly what you and your office did in terms of, of this, this survey investigation? Well, this is an official audit investigation. Two and a half years ago, my office went to the Department of Education. We surveyed a sample of schools to determine what the procedures were in terms of cataloging uh, computers and technology and making sure that that technology was in the classroom. So we found a shocking number of computers back then 1,800 in a relatively small sample, 1,800 computers, tablets, uh, you know, iPads were simply missing, uh, missing. The DOE officials couldn't find them. No one could find them. Two and a half years ago, we actually found some for them. There were uh, computers packed in closets. They had no idea where they were. And then we said, well, where's your inventory list? And they didn't have one. So in our recommendations, we said, look, you got to clean this up. You need an inventory and you got to find these computers. I went back in to audit again to make sure that there was improvement. What we found was that those missing computers of two and a half years ago, they couldn't find 87% of them two years later. They didn't take our recommendation in creating an inventory system. They said it can't be done. And to make matters worse, we found another 1,800 computers that were missing and another 3,500 computers that they simply didn't have on any list. So you could walk into any place, any school, take a computer, and they had no idea who would take the computer where it was. And the consequences really impact the students. In an age of technology, every computer counts, every iPad counts. Kids need to have that technology at their fingertips. But when we can't find the computers and there's not enough for the classroom, well, who suffers? Our children. It, it's a bit shocking when you're talking about 1,800 computers in such a small sample. And the first question is, are, are you concerned, given your position, that if you extrapolate from that number, we're talking, we could be talking about tens of thousands? We could be. Uh, could be? That, yes. that are not yes. in the hands of the students who should be utilized. It is outrageous that the DOE, having been forewarned, uh, has done nothing to find computers, to create a system. And this is at a time when we're about to invest $200 million uh, in the kind of technology that our kids must have. Kids need to learn uh, on these computers. They need, to have, uh, they need to have that opportunity. But we're not giving it to them if we're losing the equipment. We're, we can't find the equipment. Or the equipment's been stolen. And I'm going to go back in until we resolve this issue with the DOE. And their response is nonsense. They, they said that, that they didn't have, what, the technology to track this, or they didn't have the money to create well, the technology to, to track this inventory? So they use their boilerplate language every time I do an audit that our data or our process is flawed. So, okay, I issue a challenge on this show. They should come on the show, take my seat, and show you uh, where those missing computers are. Whatever the system they want to use, whatever receipts they have, uh, they didn't convince me, right? But perhaps they'll convince you. Let them come here. But they're not going to come here because they can't find the computers. They're missing. They don't know where they are. And they have no system. Is, is there any system of accountability for this? Of course there is. You, when you're spending hundreds of millions of dollars on technology, agencies must create a database that tracks the system. And when they don't, they're going to get a call from the controller's office. Audit and Investigations is going to knock on the door and say, we want to see the technology. Because 
We have to make sure that our in technology investment is going to the people who need it the most, and that's our children. And we don't want to be in a situation where kids in our public schools are without the, uh, the tools they need to be successful in the future. Well, Comptroller Scott Stringer, we're always happy to have you join Thank us you. And, and talk with us about all the projects, what's going on uh, in the city here. We'll look forward to having you back again. Thank you very much. You'd be welcome.